Greetings, new music lovers. My name is Morjana Celeste Maricchio. I am the producing artistic director of Mosaic Dance Theater Company, and here with you to give you a recap of a very important project we have been working on over the past year. On June 29th, 2021, I received an email with the following subject line. New Music USA 2021 Organiza Organizational Development Fund Notification. My heart started beating faster as I held my breath and clicked to open. When I read the first word, congratulations, on came the adrenaline rush. Mosaic Dance Theater Company had been awarded a grant to enable us to commission Maestro Maurice Shadid to compose new music for our dance project, Al Hayat Raksa, Life is a Dance. What a wonderful way to begin the summer. Maurice, a native of Beirut, Lebanon, studied at the Lebanese Conservatory of Middle Eastern Music, where he received a diploma in the traditional Moashahat, oud playing, and folk singing. As a member of the Lebanese folkloric group, he toured internationally for four years as lead singer and oud player with the ensemble, and was a popular entertainer in nightclubs throughout Lebanon. Emigrating to the US in 1988, he has been a headliner in Arabic nightclubs and has performed in many prestigious venues, including the United Nations, Lincoln Center, and Carnegie Hall. He is a member of Atsilut, a 10-piece band which features Arabic and Jewish music, and travels to Europe every year to play in many famous music and cultural festivals throughout Europe in the Concerts for Peace program. A prolific composer, Maurice has composed and recorded many songs and dance compositions, and also is the musical director and featured musician for Mosaic. The creative team, composer Maurice Shadid, choreographer Samara Adele, and myself, director, dramaturge, and producer, got together and had this to say. This is such a wonderful opportunity for Mosaic Dance Theater Company to have the support of New Music USA which enables us to present Middle Eastern music and dance on the stage in a wonderful theatrical production. I am introducing our composer, Maestro Maurice Shadid, and our choreographer, Samara Adele. My name is Morjana Celeste Maricchio. I'm the producing artistic director of the company. I can't thank you guys enough because uh, I have so much music inside you know, me, I don't have the opportunity to uh, go except through these kind of projects. Thank you. That's all I can say. This is working with original music, especially original music from Maurice Shadid, is so special and so inspiring for the dance company. So we really appreciate your support. And so we began. On Saturday mornings throughout the summer, Maurice and I met around his dining room table and discussed the music that he was to create. The story had already been built around 13 different scenes with approximate times for each scene to create different emotions, different locations, different activities, different characters, etc. Since our story is to be told through dance with no accompanying narrative, the music had to be appropriate to what the scene was to impart. The complexities and varieties of Arabic music provided a wealth of possibilities. Maurice and I discussed all these elements, rhythms, timings, emotions, instruments, reprises, characters, and different styles of Middle Eastern dance as well. He would compose a piece and then play it in draft form on the oud for me to listen. Was it long enough? Was it the right mood? Maybe it needed a slower ending. Because we had no premiere date set for the piece, and because of the changes in the performing arts world brought about by the pandemic, it was impossible to get musicians to commit to a live performance at some indefinite time in the future. Much better, Maurice recommended, to create a top-notch recording of his music. He felt the acoustic recordings of himself on Oud and Rick and his vocals and a violinist and a dark buka player would be enhanced through a sophisticated recording by working with a keyboardist, arranger, and record producer, Vikan Makoshin. Vikan Makoshin, born in Aleppo, Syria, to Armenian parents, has been a musician his entire life. When four years old, he was given a toy piano, which quickly became his only interest. 
His formal training in classical music began a few years later at the age of seven. Wieken's unquenchable thirst for all things musical led him to explore and master many different genres, such as Armenian, Arabic, classical, and jazz. And by the age of 16, he was working as a musician seven days a week. He performed in a jazz setting at the notable Cotton Club in Syria. His musical career expanded to touring around the globe with international stars in the music world, such as Avram Russo, Martin Jorgans, Ronios, Paul, Addis, and Walid Tufik in multiple capacities, including musician, arranger, composer, producer. In addition, Viken was a sought after session musician in recording studios. In 2000, his experience in the recording world led him to begin the digital recording aspect of his career. He then emigrated to the US in 2006, where he resides in Northern New Jersey. A self-described perfectionist, Viken produces all kinds of musical genres at his Viken Makoshin recording studio, where he works miracles with Cubase recording software. By the beginning of December, Maurice had completed his compositions and we were ready to begin work with Viken at his recording studio in what would become regular weekly meetings. Maurice would set the rhythm with which Viken then introduced via Cubase's electronic metronome. Then he recorded Maurice playing the melody on the oud. This would become the foundation for each recording. Once that track was laid down, Maurice and Viken would discuss arrangements. Here are some clips of one of the sessions. Thank you. sessions, Viken, armed with his many notations, would work solo to create the sounds and harmonies to give Maurice's music a big orchestral sound. At the next meeting, Viken would play his new version for us. Hearing a fuller sound with electronic substitutions for the acoustic instruments to be recorded allowed me, as director, to visualize how the music and the story would work together. After Viken had incorporated all his electronic arrangements and orchestrations into the recording, the next step was to bring in the live musicians to record their tracks while listening to the pre-recorded foundation track. 
Maurice met with Wieken for several sessions to record the acoustic oud. The violin was the next instrument played by virtuoso Jabra Darye. Gabi, as he is known, is a Syrian Venezuelan violinist who performs classical, Arabic, Venezuelan, Latin American, jazz, European, and North American music. He began studying the violin with his father at three years of age and continued his studies at the Conservatory of Aleppo, Syria. He later emigrated to Venezuela, where he is a member of the National Youth Orchestra of Venezuela, performing and teaching violin. Later, he took the chair of first violin in the Philharmonic Orchestra of Caracas. Additionally, he served as professor of violin at the Maracay Conservatory in the state of Aragua in Venezuela. He was the founder and director of Venezuela-based Arabic music ensemble Aleppo Diamantino, which toured nationally and internationally. He now resides in New Jersey, where he performs and teaches Arabic and classic music regularly. Here are some clips from Gabby's initial recording session. بعدين ترجع بتجي لها كمان مرة كمان هاي هون ما تقولها صار صوت كمان كثير رفيع على Now it was time to add the darbuka, masterfully played by Georges Radi. Georges Radi, born in Beirut, Lebanon, grew up playing the darbuka, drums. At the age of 13, he appeared on a Lebanese talent show, marking the beginning of his career. By 14, Georges was traveling throughout the Middle East. After earning his degree from the Lebanese National Higher Conservatory of Music, he started traveling throughout the Middle East, playing at elite parties and events. He became the sole drummer to the famous belly dancer Amani, as well as for dancer Nariman Aboud for seven years. Georges moved to the U.S. in 2001, continuing his career as a drummer, along with teaching private music lessons in Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey. Georges in action. شوف هون 
بعدين بحطوا الكليب تعال نعمل البدايه دو دو ورا وريوان هذول هذول الشغلات اللي عملتها اوكي مع البي مع البي بالبيجينينج بس نفوت على الالقاب حط لك الكليب اوكي بدك يعمل بارم ترم يعني يعبي بعدين yeah. بالفاضي yeah. 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 يا بارم شغلات يعني يا مثل صور ولا هلا بس اسمع بلعب عليها ولا يا 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 وين ما بدك فوت After all the acoustic instrument tracks had been laid down, Maurice stepped into the booth to record his vocals. Yeah, habayb nefsat ma ta'bilu aku nefsi. Yeah, habayb nefsat ma ta'bilu aku nefsi. Imta marakibku fi bahrina tirsi. Imt marakibku fi bahrina tirsi. Tawiltu al-ghiyab, ya aghla ahbab. Tawiltu al-ghiyab. يا أغلى أحباب ارجعوا لي ارجع لي يا فرح ونسي ارجعوا لي ارجع لي يا فرح ونسي Very nice دايم في البال طولت الغياب يا أغلى أحباب طولت الغياب يا أغلى أحباب ارجعوا لي ارجع لي يا فرح ونسي ارجعوا لي ارجع لي يا فرح ونسي And now, Vikan has put it all together. يا حبايب نفسك Finally, there were the transitions. Because no blackouts are planned for the story, we wanted the scene changes to keep the audience engaged. Musically, the transitions either referenced the previous scene or would introduce the scene to come. Early on in our planning sessions, Maurice and I decided that this would best be accomplished by an ad lib of whichever music work would work better. 
Here's an example of Maurice's brilliant improvisation. Beacon would then add exciting sounds to enhance the mood and emotion called for in the scene. Mm -hmm. The recording sessions were complete. The final step was the mixing and mastering. In closing, I express our sincere gratitude to New Music USA for their support of this project by providing Mosaic Dance Theater Company with a grant award to commission exciting new music from Middle Eastern dance. The excellence of this body of work was achieved through the brilliance of Maurice Shadid as composer, oud player, and vocalist through the masterful arrangements and orchestrations by Vikan Makoshin and his magic on the keyboard, and through the virtuosic performances of Gabi Darye and Georges Radi. Enjoy a sampler of the new music for Al Hayat Raksa.
מת, תעבירו 